it's just like a seesaw. On the one side, it is the forest. On the other side, it is the lumber harvested from forest. Lumber can be used to build houses or make furniture. In order to maximize the profits, foresters are going to manage the forest in such a way that it will maximize the yield of the lumber, regardless of the impact on the forest. That is why the seesaw is lopsided, that the lumber weights heavier. But however, we have an interest for the forest to stay. Why? Because forest takes up carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is one of the most important greenhouse gases in causing global warming. So how can we make this seesaw to be more balanced? My proposed solution is to add a dollar value on the forest's abilities in taking up carbon dioxide. When the foresters can earn profits, other than just cutting the forest and selling the timber, foresters are going to change their management method, such as by planting different tree species or by planting them in a different location or by delaying the harvest. All of these are going to change the structure of the forest. And hence, it will impact the forest's ability in taking up carbon dioxide. In order to quantify the repercussion of the additional dollar value on forest carbon, I'm going to use remote sensing data to build a joint ecological and economic system to understand the forest carbon. The results can allow the policymaker to understand different amounts of carbon value added on forests and their impacts on the forest carbon. My resu the results is not only an interest to the policymakers or to the foresters or to the environmentalists, but also an interest to you and to the wider international communities. Because of global population increase, we have an increased demand in lumbers. On the other hand, because of global warming, we have an interest for the forest to stay here and take up more carbon dioxide. International communities are thinking about paying the foresters to delay or not to harvest their forest. My research is a step towards forest sustainability and also in solving global climate change problem. Thank you.